Okay. <clears throat> so if you don't know who I am, I need you to stay because the information I have is, is for everyone. Okay. There's no hashtags, no nothing here. I'm just letting this message go through whoever needs to hear it. Okay. <clears throat> My name is John Noel and I am an artist. I'm also a uh, spiritual guide and I want to talk to you about life in general. Okay. And why is it important to just let go, let go places, let go things, let go of people, because I have been going through my own transformation, um, <laughs> every day. And the one thing that I have discovered is that when you learn how to let go, you set yourself up for success. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter what you've gone through, what you've experienced. I am in the middle of a divorce that's taking too long and I'm still here. I'm still happy. I'm happy about my decision. I'm happy about the things that I've learned. And the most important thing is that I have finally found a place where love is key. So if you're not following me, check out my profile, look at everything I've been posting lately, because I've been posting a lot of love poems and <clears throat> it's really important for you. When you get to that place of love, it's not, look, it's not about the attachment to love. Love is eternal. That's who we are. Love is inexplicable. But the true essence of who we are is pure unconditional love and holding on to things, holding on to people, holding on to, um, experiences. It's what makes our mind just go a little bit nuts. Let go of the experiences. I have let go of a lot of things in my life and I'm happy. I'm even look. Let me tell you this. I'm even the poems that I'm writing, I'm writing because I have a source of inspiration. I have somebody that I've met who's the most incredible person I have ever met in my life. The way she listens to me, the way she talks to me, the way she looks at me, she's incredible, but we're not together. I'm not crying. I'm not all bent out of shape. I just let go. I enjoy, I take the parts of love that are beneficial for me and I transmute them to more love, to be in love, to be in a position of love. Look, we might never get together. Who knows? We might, we might not. Am I going to be, I'm gonna, am I going to cry about it? No, because it's about letting go. I let go. If it comes back to me, then it was meant to be my divorce. <clears throat> I have gone through an incredible amount of pain experiencing the divorce with my soon to be ex-wife. Uh, do I hate her? No, because I found a place where I can finally forgive her for everything, everything that's been said about me, that's been done to me, everything. And I still love her in a spiritual sense. And, the, you know, now let me get something very clear is that just loving people does not mean that you let people walk all over you. No, you set up boundaries. You set up boundaries. These are my boundaries. And if you cross them in a very loving way, I'm going to show you how to get back on your side because <clears throat> that's what love does. Love creates boundary. Love brings you peace. Love brings you a state of maturity. And love helps you heal so you can open your heart 
to other people who who are out there there's somebody that's going to come into your uh, into your life who's going to look at you and it's they're going to value you for who you are for what you stand for and they're going to they're just going to adore you and that's just how it works but you have to be in that place you have to be in that place of love in order to be able to connect uh, with somebody like that because if you don't love yourself if you don't set up the boundaries if you don't really understand who you are how do you expect somebody else to to reciprocate that if they don't if you don't know who you are how do, how are they going to know so keep that in mind look sometimes even close friends sometimes they just got to you just got to let them go because you are in a journey where you hold your uh, where you hold hands with whoever it is and it gets to a point that you have to continue on your journey and they have continue they have to continue on theirs and become a witness become the person who just says ah oh, i see i see that you need to go that way but i have to go this way it was so nice walking with you to this point that's what love does and when you start understanding that each and every single person has a particular destiny a particular journey that we all have free will then you understand that sometimes certain people cannot come along to our journey some do some do some don't a lot of a lot of them don't so being a place of love in everything that you do something went wrong look at the beautiful side of things i am grateful for my ex-wife and i wish her the very best i love her because the lessons that she taught me are incredible because it allowed me to leave my old version of who I was and become this new version which by the way I know I probably tricked you guys at the very beginning because I introduced myself as John Noel well what happened is that the version that was my old version I had to put to rest he got me the version that was called Adolfo he got me to the place where John walks in and now he's taking over uh, in this uh, third act of my life and it's a blessing I'm gonna talk about that more later but and that came from being in a state of love so anyways I hope this message resonates with everybody I'm not putting any hashtags or anything I just gonna let it be and hopefully it gets to the people that need to hear this because I understand it's a long video but look at what you are going through and ask yourself how can I change my perspective and switch it to one that it's that comes from love that comes from a place where hey this is only a journey this is not who I am I am more than my physical body anyways I love you all you have an incredible evening and um, take care bye